I'm gonna try to call this phone. Yep, it's calling me right now. Let's see what happens. Speaker phone. Today I have a special video for you. In a minute, I'll show you how to set up an AI voice agent that can do calls on your behalf. How to integrate it quickly into your system so it does calls for you 24 seven without taking breaks and how it can enable you to close more sales and increase the long-term value of your customers without any code, without any US phone number, and without any big upfront investment. So by the end of this video, you can have a fully functioning AI voice assistant. I've partnered with Synthflow to make this video because it's one of the most revolutionary products I've ever seen. And if you think that's a big statement, stay to the end of this video. So let's start creating a fully functioning AI voice assistant. First, I'm gonna go to synthflow.ai. As you can see, this is the first human-like conversational AI voice agent that easily creates AI voice assistants to make outbound calls, answer inbound calls, very important, and schedule appointments 24 seven, no coding required. So I'm just gonna click on get started for free. Then I'll just create an account with Google. And just like that, I'm on the inside. As you can see, there's many things that we're gonna check out today. For example, the templates that makes this easy for anyone to get started right now. They have this workflows tab that can do a lot of very cool segmented steps, integrations and agency. And we can of course create our own assistant from scratch. I'll show you all of them, but first you might be thinking, how do they sound? and does it sound real? So let me show you the templates first. I'll just go to the top here and click on more templates. As you can see, we have a bunch of different templates that we can pick from. For example, the first one, property viewing buyer real estate. This is an outbound sales call. And if we click on the listen button, you can hear. Hi, Alex, I am calling you from Majestic Estates to book your appointment. Do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. I'll test it out in a minute. And as you can see, they also have property evaluation seller, which is real estate as well, lead qualification buyer, lead qualification seller, screening in the recruitment section, booking appointments in recruitment as well, and appointment reminder, which again is an outbound sales call to hopefully get people to show up. They now have real estate and recruitment, but you can basically train this on anything as I'll show you in the custom prompting section, but let's test one out. So I'm gonna go to this lead qualification buyer and click on view details. As you can see, we can either give it a try or create assistant that basically creates it on this template. Let's give it a try. You can see that it's using GPT-4 Turbo as well as you can use my computer or use a phone. I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. Let's use our computer. Okay, I've set it up now and I'm gonna try to call this phone. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's calling me right now. Let's see what happens. Speaker phone. Hello, I am calling from Majestic Estates. I've seen you complete our form on the website about buying or renting. Do you have a couple of minutes to finish the request? Yeah. Great. Are you looking to buy a home or rent one? I want to rent. Got it. What area are you looking to rent in? In New York City. New York City. Fantastic choice. How many bedrooms and bathrooms are you looking for in the rental? Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Perfect. Are there any specific amenities or utilities you'd like the property to have, such as a pool, garage, or garden? I would like for it to have a view. A view sounds lovely. Do you have any particular views in mind, like a cityscape or perhaps a park? I'd love for it to overlook the park. Overlooking the park sounds peaceful. What's your budget range for renting? Two to three thousand a month. That's a good range for New York City. What's motivating you to move? 
Are you relocating for work or is there another reason? I like to work and have new experiences. That's exciting. Exploring new experiences can be really refreshing. Are you currently working with another agent or is this your first inquiry into renting? You are my first. I'm glad to hear that. To make sure I have everything right, you're looking for a two bedroom, one bathroom rental in New York City with a park view and your budget is between two and three thousand dollars per month. Is that correct? Yeah, that sounds right. Perfect. When would be a good time for one of our agents to follow up with you and discuss some property options? Can we do May seventh uh, at four o'clock? May seventh at four o'clock sounds good. I'll schedule that for you. Thank you for choosing Majestic Estates, and we look forward to helping you find the perfect rental. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Wow, <laughs> that was really good. I was very surprised when he actually just said all the things that I said to him back to me perfectly and I was expecting him to go like say something completely wrong or something. I could see how a lot of people would value this in their business, especially the point on I was thinking that it's an AI voice, which I was thinking, oh, it's not gonna be good. But then I understand that, oh, it's AI, it's ChatGPT, it's smarter than the majority of these annoying salespeople. And then I actually enjoyed talking to it. I'm also a bit surprised by how short the delay was between me actually saying something and he responding. It seemed like about two seconds, which is very fast. I think this is a game changer for a lot of businesses so let's dive a little bit deeper and let's try to create this assistant. So say you like Paul AI and you wanna use that template. As you can see, I'm on the templates page that we was before and say that I like Paul AI and I wanna use this exact template. I'll just click on the create assistant button. You can see that it integrates with Go High Level, Zapier and also REST API. So you can easily connect with, for example, Google Forms that then sends an outbound call to them that then updates your CRM. The way that you use a real phone number is to connect to a Twilio account that I'll show you how to do right now so we can actually set it up. So I'll connect with Twilio and here they need my account as idea and the auth token. And it's really easy to get. All you need to do is make an account with Twilio for free and on the inside, you get this account as idea and auth token right away after signing up. So I'll just copy it and paste it directly into Synthflow, save, and you might have to click a button here to get a Twilio phone number. And then you can see that your phone number is down here, but you also get that directly under the select phone number section that I can just click right here that can be used for both voice and SMS. Click on your Twilio phone number where you might have to refresh to get that. I'll say my name and I'll put my phone number in here and let's see if my other phone actually gets a call. <laughs> As you can see, it's now calling from Twilio. And also I see here in the chat yeah, I want to rent in New York City. Everything that we talked about here is a transcribed and the recording here as well. Let's see. Yeah, there oh, we go. Hello, I am calling from Majestic Estates. So you have every recording and transcript. So very easy to set up and also a bit freaky that I got called from an AI that actually is valuable. Like it can run 24 seven, don't have to sleep it can get key pieces of information that the buyer or the lead actually wants to give us because we're providing a better service. But what if you want to customize it for your specific need or something different? Well, that's where this prompt section comes in. As you can see, we're still on the Paul AI template and in the top first, you can set up your actions. As you can see, we have assistant team, use multiple assistants with just one phone number. We have send SMS to a custom SMS after the call. That's really great. 
real-time booking where you can schedule live appointments during the call. That's really interesting. They have call transfer where, where they can instantly give it to a live human. They also have info extractor, which I think is what we did just now. My mind is just spinning with all these ideas, but it gets even better. As you can see, they're using in the step two here, a master prompt where they say Majestic Estates AI, buy your inquiry call script. And here they have background info where the company is the Majestic Estates, is at the forefront of a real estate industry, delivering unparalleled buying experiences, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They also go into objection handling or addressing market timing concerns, navigating budget limitations. Also a call script instruction here where they're basically said to greet and identify the purpose of the call. Ascern if the potential client is looking to buy or rent and then preferred location, property specifications, amenities and utilities, and you just heard the call so you know exactly what we're talking about. So this could be used for literally anything in the exact same flow with different questions and you can just add your own information here. And I think that this is really where the majority of the value comes from. An extremely good master prompt here with you know, it could be a sales script or a format of how to do it. Specifically, the objection handling section, I really wonder how it handles, for example, that it gives me a location. I say, the price is too high. Then it actually starts selling me or doing objection handling, which I've never seen an AI do before. It'd be really interesting to test. But now you know a little bit more about the customization here, what you can do. You see the prompting guide here as well for more instructions, but how can you make it even more automated so you don't have to physically tell it to do anything? Well, that's where the workflows comes in. So I'll click it. They have a neat little instruction video here that prefaces that this is a no code builder you don't need any code. We'll just click on start building flows. And here is the window that opens. Let's make something very simple like form to call to update sheet. And we can select the event type, make a call or trigger after a call. I'll click on make a call. I'll add an assistant like our favorite Paul AI and click on create. Here is the page that we're greeted with. And we see the select trigger here in the top then make a phone call with Synthflow, and then we can add more actions here. To the side, you can see that we are integrated with all of these different ones. Yeah, there's a lot of different integrations here. Let's make it simple with a trigger on Google Form, and we have to select a trigger, which is a new response. I'll connect it to my Google account, call trigger form connect. There we go. Save. I'll just quickly make a new form and I'll just have one question here for simplicity. Select my form here and in the bottom we can load sample data, but we don't have any results. I'm actually going to test it at the end. So let's click on the next step to make a phone call. Here you can see that it's making a phone call through this action here. You can also do chat with Textbot. We have this connection, this model and two phone number. This is where I want to have the new response and we have to go to trigger. So I'm actually gonna sign up the form one time to make it work. Okay, just added my phone in and now I believe we can click on load data and we have this result number one that we can use in the output. So let's go back to step number two here, click on phone number, click on new response and here you can click on answers. And here I have to go down a couple of different steps till I find my number, click on it, and you can see that it's updated. And I think it has my phone number now. You can add recipient name here as well. If your form is a little bit more detailed, web hook, custom variables, prompt, continue on failure, auto retry on failure. But let's actually test the step. Let's see test successful. <laughs> yep. It's actually calling me right now. I want to also update this to, for example, a Google sheet, or it could be any CRM software of your choice. So I'll just click on sheet here. I'll make a new blank sheet, go back to Synthflow and click on action. Oh, wait, 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 I'll make a new sheet. Just call it Synthflow call sheet. Go back to Synthflow 
And as you can see, there are many different options that we can use. I think that we're just gonna click on insert role, add connection, just do the same Google account, click on spreadsheet and find our Syntflow call sheet, select sheet one. We can click, does this first row contain headers? Values include team drive sheet as string, continue on failure and stuff like that. I believe that values should be the most important. And I guess that we can get this from the make phone call where we can actually get response data. Now we didn't actually do the full phone call where you remember questions about budget, questions about location, amenities, and things like that. I believe that's exactly what we could add here. It says test successful, and you may not see it, but we actually did update the first row in the head here. It's just that it's completely blank. Let me just click another one, for example, status okay, and retest, and there you have it. Basically, a fully functioning form to call to Google Sheet. So then I'll just click on publish, so just imagine you set up an AI agent, it calls on your behalf, it updates your Google Sheet without you having to do anything. You can keep refining the prompt until you have the perfect flow and setup. So it can do a lot of work for you. I'm predicting this to be a part of pretty much everybody's business. I'm predicting that this will be the new norm because AI callers are actually good now, as you can see, and it's all thanks to Synthflow. So if you wanna grab yourself a copy, you can do it for free by clicking the link in the description down below because I believe you can lower your CAC, the customer acquisition cost, and possibly increase your CLV the customer lifetime value by just providing better support, making your customers feel heard. So if you're considering adding this to your business, click the link in the description down below to go to synthflow.ai. It feels crazy that the AI revolution is here. And the most important part is to take advantage of it before all your competitors do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, also comment down below what you think of this. It's pretty freaky, but also super cool at the same time. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.